we are attending the disciplinary committee or hearing of the ANC. Now we will not say many things, but we want to thank you for coming out in your numbers to come and give your leadership support because you know that leadership of the Youth League speak on behalf of young people of South Africa. The leadership of the Youth League and the Youth League itself, it is the only hope to the unemployed and young people who are suffering from poverty. of the youth league is the silencing of the voice of the voiceless. The youth league remains the only organization that speaks on behalf of the poor of the poorest. Okay. We are in a session now and the DC is continuing. We know the ANC has always emerged victorious out of difficult situations and we know that even after this hearing the African National Congress will always be there. Individuals will come and go, the ANC will remain. So you must never burn the flag of the ANC because the flag of the ANC it is who we are. We are black, green, and gold. And we must always be proud to be associated with the ANC. You are here because you love the African National Congress. And you are here because you support your leadership. If in the face of the president, under this difficulty, we must exercise restraint. We condemn that as the leadership of the youth league. You cannot throw stones at journalists because journalists are just messengers and they will send a wrong message if you attack. You must direct your energy at the enemy as a revolutionary. At all times, you must know who is the enemy and direct your energy at the enemy. you are disciplined. Please don't be provoked by agent provocateurs who are deployed amongst you. Let us isolate agent provocateurs and isolate them and report them to the police. Police, we call upon you to work with these people. These are South Africans. They have fought for the right to assemble. And they have assembled today. It is your responsibility as police to protect them. These are not your enemies. These are the people you are employed to protect. Lituni <laughs> House, Revolutionary House, remains our house. We cannot have a fight with the Tuli House. Just the name Lutuli should make you to understand that you cannot attack a house named after a revolutionary. In whatever we do, we must display revolutionary discipline. We must be determined. We are not turning back. We are fighting moving forward. No amount of intimidation will intimidate us. Please let us be disciplined. Today it's me in the hearing. 
Tomorrow is Comrade Floyd. A day after tomorrow is Secretary General. After Secretary General is the Deputy President. After Deputy President is the Treasurer General and Deputy Secretary General. The whole leadership of the Youth League has been touched. Something we've never heard of in the history of the NC. However, we want to respect those processes in the African National Congress. Let's give the ANC chance to conclude its business. Continue to support your leaders. It's your responsibility. But do that with restraint. We must not give opportunists the news to speak nonsense about us tomorrow. We must deny them. We must deny them an opportunity to speak nonsense about us. <laughs> Let us respect our leadership. We might be paid by the decisions of the leadership, but at all times, leaders of the ANC, leaders of the alliance must be respected because those are our leaders. Those are a mirror of South Africa. And when they see those people outside of South Africa, they see us. So we cannot ban ourselves, especially black, green and gold. You are burning a flag of Krisan. You are burning a flag of Peter Mukawa, Henry Kuala, A.P. Mta, Mkolis Majongos, Oukan Tango, Nelson Mandela, Walter Sisulu, this flag to fly high, free, and we must never be tempted to undermine this effort. We are going to be here the whole week, two weeks, the whole month, the whole year, if it takes to support our leaders. We must support our leaders. It's not the first thing we have done it before continue to do it. There is nothing wrong you are doing. You must never doubt yourself for a second. But please, let's not give the enemy chance to attack us. These journalists, please protect them. Because these are the journalists who are going to send a message out there how you are being treated. And once you attack journalists, you are going to lose what we call public sympathy. You must not do that, comrades. We must conduct a peaceful revolution. But it must be radical, it must be militant, you must never fear anybody. Thank you very much.